Hi everyone, it's Andrew Nasios, and I'm here today with the legendary Rachel Pollock. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. And today we're going to share with you all a technique for reading, uh, a mm -hmm. style or technique for that you do yes. with your clients that you're going to share and teach everyone else. Yeah. So what are you going to teach us today? Well, one of my favorite things to do is to make up the spread from the person's actual words. Okay, so we're, we're learning a spread technique. Yeah. Okay. And it involves, well, when someone comes to me, they sit down and I say to them, well, what are your issues? What do you want to look at? What do you want to find out about? And so they'll do a narrative, usually, mm -hmm. you know? They may say, um, well, I've been married 25 years. I write down married 25 years. Okay. No book. Then they say, um, but lately my husband and I are drifting apart. So the lately husband and her are drifting apart. Mm -hmm. and then she says, you know, and I'm wondering, like, you know, how do we rekindle the love and marriage? How do we rekindle love and marriage? Mm -hmm. So right away we have three questions in the spread. Yeah. And for each of those questions, I would play out with three cards. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so let's do our imaginary client here. So married 25 years, we put out three cards. Okay? The fool and the emperor and the ace of swords. Mm -hmm. A wonderful combination. <laughs> so on the camera, so fool, emperor, ace of swords. So we might say, you know, I might say something like, well, you know, they felt like they were young and foolish when they married, and now the marriage has become the emperor. It's ruling over them. Yeah. You know, and they're related because um, the fool's the twenty-second card. Two plus two is four, which is the emperor. Mm -hmm. But also it's what Jung called the uh, who are eternus and the senex, the eternal child and the, the old man. Mm. So the marriage began as the eternal child, but now it's become the old man. Mm. And the ace of swords is that sense of like. Many ways you might say it's like what separates them, uh -huh. but also you know they're seeking answers, they're seeking wisdom, so on. You know, so then, then she says something like, "Well, you know, lately my husband and I have been drifting apart." You know, and so these three cards are the Ace of Wands, okay, and the King of Wands, and the King of Cups. Oh. So uh -oh. two kings. <laughs> so two kings would probably meet her husband, uh -huh. and, you know. Um, I mean, I would this. Would be the case, probably, but you know, what comes to mind is perhaps her husband's gay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that there's a. Uh... And some wands, very phallic, there's some phallic <laughs> images, you know? Um, then there's this other king, you know? <laughs> but I mean, could more be, this would imply the issue is more about her husband than her. Because the emperor and two kings. Yeah. Very masculine kinds of things. Yeah. Also, she didn't mention in my little fantasy character the issue of sex, mm -hmm. but here we see the very phallic Ace, Ace of, of Wands. wands. And the Ace of Swords is before that. Yes. So there are sexual issues, perhaps, you uh -huh. know? And that would lead us, so we might at that point branch off into looking at sexual issues between them. But the third thing that she said was, you know, she's wondering how they can rekindle mm -hmm. their marriage. So we so look we'll at... Yeah. Well, I was going to put them down here. Oh, they would count on catch up. Okay. So right here. Okay. So, Queen of Wands. So they're okay. So right away we learn she has to be the, his match. Mm -hmm. If he's the King of Wands, Drifting off to become the king of swords, um, she's got to, you know, she can be the queen. It's about not about him, it's about her mm -hmm. in a very positive kind of way. The four of cups. Well, maybe that's the image of their marriage in which you know they don't they've gotten bored with what they have. They don't see what's possible. Mm -hmm. The cup and the the fourth cup and the four of cups resembles the ace of cups, the hand offering the cup. So it could be spiritual love. Mm -hmm. See where the spiritual love is. You know, sexual match in the Queen of Wands, you know? But then there's the Five of Swords. Yeah. So then it becomes a question of, like, you know, the problem is defeating them. If those two are the couple, and this is, this is the problems, you know? Mm -hmm. So that sword comes back in. The sword is something menacing. Yeah. You know? Words, maybe they, maybe they argue too much, and they, yeah. don't, they don't resolve their conflicts properly with communication. So then, so then she might ask a question. Another thing to do is to do readings that develop out of the things in the reading. Yes, and, so, and they lead you down like a rabbit hole. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. you know? um, I call that a roll your own style reading. Yeah. Where you maybe start with one card for the original question and then you just see where that leads. But here maybe she might say, okay, well how can I, you know, be a strong queen of wands, recognize what is beautiful in my marriage, so that we're not defeated. Mm -hmm. So the problems don't overwhelm us. Then so we look up three more cards and we say, queen of swords, okay? Yeah. So now both kings have met their match. Mm. You know, the, the king of wands, passionate, she can be, beat that in her own queen of wands, passion. But the king of, oh, the, we did the king of, we had the king of cups, sorry. So she, but the queen of 
Queen of Swords is wisdom. Okay. You know, she has to be tough-minded. You know, um, the Moon card—it's like scary territory. It's unknown territory. You know, it's not an easy solution. You know, and the Nine of Swords may indicate there are some sad things that will come up. She has to confront, perhaps, you know, the things that are buried mm -hmm. in their marriage that, you know, have not been addressed. Mm -hmm. So, this is a way of using, you know, the words, things that came up in the reading to continue the reading, to yeah. see where it goes, you know. Um, it's a fascinating process. I really enjoy you know? it. And, it. and you combine the pictures, you know. Yeah. I know that Bob works that way, but I'm doing it's like a little bit different. I'm just... Combining I, the qualities of the cards rather than the composition of the pictures. Yeah, know? I like the I like this method because it's very freestyle. Yeah, you're not really stuck to. Yeah, anything. it's very freestyle, and exactly. that allows you, you know? to go dig deeper, yeah. and deeper as much as you want. And then sometimes the reading will end up using most of the deck, <laughs> you know, because people have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Now, my, my question is with, with the cards. Now, mm -hmm. so you did you pull the, these cards, but then when you have. Um, so following questions, are you going to reshuffle the cards to ask those questions? Well, sometimes if there's a long list of things, yeah. and then some, some interjects a question, uh -huh. I don't want to disturb the pattern that was set when we shuffled it. Okay. So I'll say, cut the dark, cut the cards once. Okay. So let's. So she said, well, what can I do right now? Oh, okay. So, so the, then the, 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 cut cards the cards shuffled for this reading. We'll stay in the same shuffled. pattern. Ah. But then we could pick someone in the middle of the deck ah. for this question. What can she do right now? King of Swords. Again, very strong-minded, very tough. You okay. know? Um, so that would be answering that question. And then we'd go back to our set reading, from the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. So that allows us to introduce stuff, you know. Because yeah. I've had, you know, clients in which, you know, they have a long list of things they want to ask about, particularly business questions, mm -hmm. you know. Should I do this client or that client, you know? Will this, uh, um, will this um, account be better than that account? So they want to be really specific kinds of things. So I always say to them, well, you should never make your business decisions just based on a tarot reading, mm -hmm. but we'll see what the cards are showing you. Yeah. So, client A, three cards. Client B, three cards, you know? Mm -hmm. You see what the advantages are. Yeah. Then if she suddenly says, oh, this is some third client, then we cut the deck mm -hmm. to get to a new area, because that half wasn't mentioned in the original account. Oh, okay. You know? Excellent. And then one more thing. So yeah. sometimes, then, because we've gone through so much material, yeah. we'll end the reading with the reading... Um, Made up by my friend Zoe Matoff, mm -hmm. um, which is a don't do a do spread. It's brilliant. It's three cards. Center card situation, left hand side, don't do, right hand side, do. Okay. Which is so radical because modern tarot is all about, you know, you empower you to make your decisions. This is a card that tells you bad idea, good idea. Yeah. You know, and I found it so useful. So, in I this like case, those. so for our imaginary client, we'll use the side. Yes. So, at the end of the reading, it's okay, so situation right now in our marriage. The death card. Okay, so it's, oh. a, it's a real crisis. <laughs> this this so is she's, she's going really down. It. So, don't do in this situation is the Eight of Pentacles. Don't just keep working. Don't do the same thing over and over. Don't believe that by just working on and on, doing the same thing over and over, you'll somehow Get deal with that crisis, well. you know? Yeah. Do the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is often maligned as just fantasizing and being vague. But actually, it's imagining other possibilities. You know, instead of eight pentacles are pretty much all the same, seven yeah. cups are different. Yeah. So the way to not have the marriage die would be to have, you know, have her start to imagine things, start mm -hmm. to really fantasize, really open up to other possibilities. So that would give her like, you know, right now... Some place to go. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. Excellent. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. And notice how, by the way, yeah. totally imaginary client. Yeah, and, and, and we've got yet, some... The cards gave this great reading. <laughs> gave a great reading for whoever I, I like that. I like that. Uh, I do a don't do one. That's really good. I think I'm going to make use of that. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I always try to make sure to credit to Zoe Matwa because it's her invention. Mm -hmm. It's my daily spread. If I do a daily spread, if I have a crisis, I do that spread. And it's been unbelievable. It's just like, you know, sometimes I don't understand it as a daily spread. And later in the day, I'm in some sudden situation. I, oh, right. That's what the reading was about. Yeah. And it gives me real direction, you know. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this My with pleasure. me and for everyone. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below and I Great. will address it. I can reach out to you if anyone has a question about this Absolutely. and we'll yeah. have it answered. Yeah. So thank you again and everyone take care. Okay.